So a few more examples, and in this case we're going to use the x-intercept form to write the equation. So reminders for us, if we have a negative, it's going to go to the right for the x-intercept, and if we have a positive, it will be to the left. And that's for both the numbers in the brackets. And again, if you have an upside-down one, you put a negative in front of the equation. So we'll take a look at that. So let's take a look at our first example. We'll take a look at the blue one. And here I'm looking for my x-intercept, so I'm just checking to see where that graph crosses the x-axis there. And you can see it crosses at negative 5 and negative 3. So that's basically to the left of 0 by 3 and to the left of 0 by 5. So my equation would then be x plus 5 x plus 3. And it doesn't matter which order you put those brackets as well, you could say x plus 3 bracket x plus 5, either way would be okay, as long as you've got a positive on both of them. And you'll notice this graph is right side up, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. If we take a look at the red graph, again looking for my x-intercepts, and again on this video it would be a good idea to try pausing this and see if you can actually write these equations yourself and then check check in again. So here I've got y is equal to, I've gone to the right 5 and to the right 8. So when I go to the right, I need to put in the negative number there. So minus 5, x minus 8. And again, you could write it in the other order with the brackets, it doesn't matter. So taking a look at the green one, again looking for my, looking for my intercepts here. So I'm at negative 2, or to the left 2, and I am at 4, or to the right 4. So here I'm going to have, to the left 2 is going to be plus 2, and to the right 4 is going to be x minus 4. So it needs to be a positive 2 there, and a negative 4. For the pink graph, see it goes through at 0, and it goes through to the right 3. So this is another situation where you could say x minus 0, because it hasn't moved left or right. And then x minus 3, because I'm to the right 3. But we would usually just write this as x, x minus 3, because you don't need to put that bracket really around the x minus 0. So your equation would be, just write it below, y is equal to x, x minus 3 in brackets, because one of those intercepts hasn't moved left or right. Um, if we take a look at our gray one, oh, and I need to pay attention there before I move on to the gray. This one is upside down, so what do we need to do to this equation? y is equal to negative x, bracket x minus 3 again, because it is upside down. It's a frowny sad face. So it's going to be very negative. And that's something I skipped on the green one as well, which you're probably pissed off at me about at this point, but we've got it. So again, this one is negative in front because it is upside down. Easy mistake to forget that, obviously. Okay, and the red and the blue are right side up, so we don't have the negative in front. So let's take a look at the gray one now. So gray one, we have an x-intercept there at negative 8 and an x-intercept at negative 4. So that's to the left 8 and to the left 4. So my equation, and we notice that it's negative, is going to be negative x to the left, so plus 8, and x plus 4. And our last one here would be the orange graph, or yellowy graph here. So here, I'm going to go through at negative 6 for an x-intercept and at positive 2. So y is equal, when I'm going to the left, it's going to be a positive number, the opposite of what you read on the axes. It's right side up, so x plus 6 and x minus 2. So again, the trickiest things on these are that often people will see that, like I just did on the orange graph, it goes through the graph at negative 6, but I have to put positive 6 into my equation. So it's kind of the opposite signs of the number that you read on the graph. And here you see it goes through at positive 2, 
but I have to say in my equation that it's negative 2 or it goes through. So the equation isn't necessarily telling you that it goes through at negative 2, but it's saying if I put in 2 to this part here, if I said 2 minus 2, I get 0, and that's how we know it's an intercept. So be careful with those and do better than I did about remembering the upside down or right side up ones. Make sure you get your negatives in there if it is upside down. And yeah, give a go with the practice problems.